What would be the takeaways of the panel you just attended? You see, we talked about uh, the smart hospitals and the concept that uh, smart hospital has and how we can use this technology in conjunction with the uh, architecture to give a quality uh, treatment to the patients as also by having smart hospitals uh, you know smaller in size but having those uh, sophisticated equipment state of the art equipment and technology the latest technology which makes patients uh, experience in the hospital and the stay very very enjoyable and he goes uh, very satisfied from the hospital so these are the kind of the model that we were thinking of and we were t talking about and how the government can uh, assist in having number of such smart hospitals across the country not only in the tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 cities mm -hmm. but also in the rural areas wherein the government can participate in ppp model as also give some land on the subsidized rates to you know ensure or promote or support the private healthcare providers to open these smart hospitals across the country so that they become economically viable for them and uh, therefore the rural population can also have uh, access to these uh, state of the art hospitals and also in the cities uh, we have uh, these hospitals uh, accessible to the general public and not only the rich class or the super rich class but also to the common man and they can also uh, enjoy this uh, latest technology mm -hmm. and a very friendly the patient friendly atmosphere in the hospital uh, in this we also wanted to uh, sort of uh, request the government that they should also come in by giving some uh, benefits as far as the taxes are concerned or uh, you know other subsidized uh, land or something so that it becomes economically viable so that the uh, private healthcare providers can uh, give such facilities to the general public so that is the, that was the uh, discussion that we had and we were also thinking how what are the various uh, bureaucratic and other uh, stumbling blocks and how to overcome them and what all the government has already done in this field and what all equipment uh, which is IT related equipment and latest technologies available uh, in the country today. Uh, well, 70% of the population of India has very limited access to uh, health care or at times no access. So how do we bridge the gap, the rural versus the urban divide? Oh, uh, like I just said that... Uh, if you have to name two or three solutions. You see, the point is that in the rural area, the doctors are also not ready to go. And uh, at the moment, it is the government only which is uh, having their primary health centers or smaller hospitals at district levels. They call it district ho hospitals uh, run by the government. But as you also know it, they are not very well run. Uh, most of the equipment is not in working order. They don't have the latest equipment. They don't have the good uh, doctors going to the specialists rather mm -hmm. going to these rural areas so it is a it is a big question mark however it can be overcome if the government is serious about it and uh, if government gives mm -hmm. a aid or gives the subsidized lands and other tax uh, benefits or uh, you know uh, various other supports which uh, it can provide to the private sector that is the provide pr private uh, health care providers I am sure they can put in and some hospitals can come up in the rural areas on the PPP model and that is the only way because government by itself cannot uh, take care of, of the entire uh, rural uh, area of the entire India is such a big country and where even the roads and somewhere even the infrastructure otherwise is not that well uh, you know uh, it's not developed so I think the private sector has to come in and government must ensure and it makes it interactive for the private healthcare providers to get into the rural areas.